Hello, I'm Jonathan Sansom and I help look after the IT here at Hills Road. And this is a short film with an introduction uh, ahead of your induction work next week to help you start to get familiar with the way in which we use Microsoft 365 Teams at Hills Road. You'll find that you're in Teams for many different kinds of activities, typically for your subject classes, tutor groups, enrichment sessions, this very short film will give you the opportunity to see some of the main features and help you get familiarised with Teams ahead of your induction next week. Some of you will have used it at the Welcome to Hills session, um, but this is a little bit more of a comprehensive guide to some of the things that you will need to become familiar with for your time with us at Hills Road. Let's start with a quick tour of the Teams page. So if you go over here, you can pick Teams. You can see all the Teams that you're in. Um, and if you select one of them, the main area um, appears in the middle here. You've got your posts channel, which is the main group communication channel. Um, if you want to uh, talk to a particular individual in that group, uh, you start to type their name with the at symbol and you'll see that it'll send a message direct to them, but it's visible to everyone in the group. If you type at team, you can pick a message to the whole team if you wish. Um, typically, teachers would more often do this than you. Teams are used for a lot of the communication that goes on in the college. Um, obviously, some of it's via email, but a great deal of it is direct through Teams, where it's grouped together um, either through posts to the team or also through the chat channel here. Um, if you select the chat channel, it will give you a list of all the conversations that you've been involved in. Um, the latest one is displayed on the screen and the chat also gives you the ability to make video calls, audio calls as well as text chatting. If you wish to start a new chat, it's this little button up here, new chat, and you start to tap in the name of the person you want to talk to and you can select them and then you can make a call or you can discuss things online using the text chat feature. If you're on a call or in a meeting, you've got access to a variety of settings, including showing who's in the meeting, you can see the chat, you can respond, uh, you can access a variety of other settings, including the handy applying background effects if you want to blow your background. Device settings means you can change your camera or microphone settings, that can be useful. And of course you can turn your video and microphone on and off uh, and you can also share content, so you can share screens, uh, which is quite useful for collaborating on work. Finally, a few closing points. The assignment area is a major part of what Teams delivers, and there's a separate video which we'd like you to watch that explores this. The activity feed here gives you prompts and alerts whenever you're mentioned, and there are particular messages specifically for you, and you can create alerts as well for other people uh, in the chat by mentioning them. You can also feed back to messages using these little icons and that would also create an alert, a like alert or a, a heart alert, etc, etc. That all adds to the platform and makes communication quite fluid and more conversational than, say, typically email is. Teams events are also sometimes recorded and it's possible to watch them afterwards on a catch-up basis by following a link from the chat of that particular team. And the final point is to say, get the Teams app on your mobile. It's an excellent app, works really, really well, and most of the functions that you can use on the desktop are available in the app, including, of course, audio and video calling. We really like Teams, and we hope that you're going to really enjoy using it too during your time with us at Hills Road.